Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Batman Scythe Funko Pop. Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I'm your host Brent Casina. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Funko Pop entitled Batman Scythe. Uh, this is number 397 in the Pop Heroes line. Quick turnaround of the Funko Pop here. Here's what he looks like on the box. Let's open him up and talk about him. So, I always open up Funko Pops as a rule. As I've talked about before on this channel, I believe they're meant to be touched, displayed, whatever. So, here he is, Batman scythe um so i believe it doesn't say explicitly but this has got to be and I, I believe it is that this is the case this is the batman from the death metal crossover because they've been doing funko pops of this before um this is the one with the all black outfit and in the batman the death metal story he was like a, an undead zombie is that like a paint chip or whatever what the hell uh, anyway, he's like an undead zombie, so that's why his face... Oh, it's a freckle. I don't know. Uh, is a little paler than normal. Um, but, uh, you know, he's holding a scythe because that's what Batman and Death Metal had. Um, and this was his, like, all-black leather outfit. So, knowing that, let's look at the other Death Metal Funko Pop I have from Batman. So... This is the Batman with the flaming guitar based off the Doug Monke variant cover. I've got the um, McFarlane toy here as well. We can also take a look at. So this is like the, what he looked like, uh, I guess in the comic book is a little bit different. You know, everybody's got their own interpretation, but um, this is what the comic book, I think the cover looked most like this, especially with this Plastic Man guitar. Uh, and then you have this over here with the Funko Pop. And then this one, maybe maybe later in the story he got a little bit more armored with the silver tryouts and stuff. So it's not exactly the same sculpt. Like, it's a little bit different, which is nice. Like, the, um, you know, the boots are, everything is different about this. There's not really anything you can say that is, you know, oh, well, I already have, if I have this one, then I already have this one. Yeah, they're similar, but they're they're entirely different. Like, what's nice about this is that the sculpt is different for the head. You know, this has got a more furrowed brow, uh, and this one is a little bit more subtle, maybe a little bit more expressionless. But I like the way. Let's put the other guy down. I like the way that his every they have these silver accents, which really makes everything stand out here. Um, the cape is down here. He's got accents on the boots he's got little bats on the bottom of the boots here which is very cool um you know everything is very well done very painted he's even got the bat symbol in there you can kind of see it try to get the light to shine on it here uh the daylight here you can kind of see it there and also he's got a little bat on the buckle of his belt and he's got the chains coming down here as well that's really neat um so is he different from this death metal one absolutely i mean look at this guy he's got stuff he's got skulls on his leg he's got a bat belt buckle underneath there too which you can barely see yep that's there but his boots are also a bit different his boots are also a bit different look at these they're yeah the the kneecap is the same it's focusing on different things but the, the the actual bottom of the boot over here, where's my focus point, is different on both. So he's got a different buckle on the each shoe. So Funko did a really nice job making Batman Scythe uh, different than Batman with guitar or whatever this one is called. Um, so I'm glad to have them both in my collection. Like even the cape is different, you know. This is a lot more textured, a lot more rubbery, and this is a lot more silky smooth. Um, you know, so they probably started with the same idea. The pose is very, you know, is a little similar, but it's opposite, you know, so you can put these guys next to your shelf and, and know that you have two completely different Batman Funko Pops, which is very nice. Um, I was kind of wondering if it was going to be 
pretty close or similar and I was like well let me get the scythe one because I, I like the scythe look and that's you know different than some of the other ones I have you know I really try and only collect um, if I'm buying Funko Pops I typically like it to be Batman I have some other ones as well but I, most of them are Batman so if they're all unique to each other that's excellent and this fits the line perfectly so I really like this one uh, if you've got the the death metal one and you were thinking this is the same uh, pick this one up because it's not and I, if you want to obviously I think it's pretty cool um, yeah so that's my thoughts on the Batman side Funko Pop that's the unboxing let me know what you guys think down below and we will see you guys next time here in the funny pages